In this video, we will go over 20 electronic information questions for the ASVAB test. If you learn the concepts, you can answer correctly. Let's get started. Number 1. The conventional current flow is from A. Positive to positive, B. Negative to negative, C. Positive to negative, or D. Negative to negative. The correct answer is letter C. Positive to negative. This is because electrons flow from the negative terminal to the positive. But conventional current assumes that current flows out of the positive terminal, through the circuit, and into the negative terminal of the source. Number 2. A current that changes polarity many times per second is called A. Direct current, B. Reciprocating current, C. Alternating current, or D. AC or DC current. The correct answer is letter C. Alternating current. Alternating current is an electric current that periodically reverses direction and changes its magnitude continuously with time, in contrast to direct current, which flows only in one direction. Number 3. A capacitor connected in series obtains a resulting value. A. Greater than the sum of the individual capacitor values. B. Equal to the sum of the individual capacitor values, C. Less than that of the smallest capacitance, or D. Produces a neutral change in capacitance values. The correct answer is letter, C. Less than that of the smallest capacitance. When capacitors are connected in series, the total capacitance is less than any one of the series capacitors' individual capacitances. Number 4. The property of a circuit that opposes the flow of electrons is a. Potential, b. Resistance, c. Inductance, or d. Capacitance. The correct answer is letter, b. Resistance. This is because resistance is a measure of the opposition to current flow in an electrical circuit. Resistance is measured in ohms, symbolized by the Greek letter omega. Number 5. The symbol below represents a. An ammeter, b. A potentiometer, c. An ohmmeter, or d. A voltmeter. The correct answer is letter, d. A voltmeter. The voltmeter is usually represented by the letter v, which is placed inside a circle adjoining two terminals. Number 6. The symbol below represents a. A diode, b. A triode, c. A transducer, or d. A switch. The correct answer is letter, a. A diode. In circuit diagrams, a diode is represented by a triangle with a line across one vertex. Number 7. The instrument used to measure electrical resistance is called a. An ammeter, b. A voltmeter. C. A wattmeter, or D. An ohmmeter. The correct answer is letter D. An ohmmeter. An ohmmeter is an instrument for measuring electrical resistance, which is expressed in ohms. Number 8. Which one of the following devices protects a circuit against current overloads? A. Coil, B. Fuse, C. Outlet, or D. Condenser. The correct answer is letter, B, fuse. This is because in electronics and electrical engineering, a fuse is an electrical safety device that operates to provide overcurrent protection for an electrical circuit. Its essential component is a metal wire or strip that melts when too much current flows through it, thereby stopping or interrupting the current. Number 9. Electronic circuits that increase the strength of electronic signals are called a. Amplifiers, b. Rectifiers, c. Voltage dividers, or d. Current dividers. The correct answer is letter a. Amplifiers. This is because an amplifier is an electronic device that increases the voltage, current, or power of a signal. Amplifiers are used in wireless communications 
broadcasting, and audio equipment of all kinds. Number 10. What color wire from the following choices is not considered a hot wire? A. Red, B. Black, C. Gray, or D. Blue. The correct answer is letter C. Gray. This is because phase 1, phase 2, and phase 3 are hot wires. They carry current. Number 11. What is commonly used in a circuit in which the flow of electricity needs to be regulated for the device to run properly? A. Resistance. B. Transformer. C. Diodes. Or D. Batteries. The correct answer is letter A. Resistance. A resistor is a passive, two-terminal electrical component that implements electrical resistance as a circuit element. In electronic circuits, resistors are used to reduce current flow, adjust signal levels, to divide voltages, bias active elements, and terminate transmission lines, among other uses. Number 12. What is the term for magnetic effects that are perpendicular to the conductor and parallel to each other? A. North pole. B. Semiconductor. C. Lines of force. Or D. Electroplating. The correct answer is letter C. Lines of force. Number 13. What happens when a wire is wrapped around an iron core and a current is sent through the wire? A. Chemical reaction. B. Get hot, C. Magnetic effect, or D. Nothing happens. The correct answer is letter, C. Magnetic effect. This is because an electromagnetic effect is a temporary magnetic effect, which is produced when an electric current passes through a coil. Number 14. Components designed to store electrical charge are A. Capacitors, B. Transformers, C. Resistors, or D. Transistors. The correct answer is letter A. Capacitors. A capacitor is a device that stores electrical energy in an electric field. It is a passive electronic component with two terminals. The effect of a capacitor is known as capacitance. Number 15. The amount of electrical power is measured in units called A. Volts, B. Amperes, C. Watts, or D. Ohms. The correct answer is letter C. Watts. Electric power is the rate at which electrical energy is transferred by an electric circuit. The SI unit of power is the watt, 1 joule per second. Number 16. A device used to amplify a signal is called A. A diode, B. A transformer, C. A rectifier, or D. A transistor. The correct answer is letter D. A transistor. A transistor is a miniature semiconductor that regulates or controls current or voltage flow in addition to amplifying and generating these electrical signals and acting as a switch or gate for them. Number 17. A microwave consumes 800 watts of power using a standard North American 120 voltage power supply. What is the approximate amount of current flowing? A. 3.85 amperes. B. 5.58 amperes. C. 6.67 amperes. Or D. 9.00 amperes. The correct answer is letter C. 6.67 amperes. Beside the solution is shown. Number 18. What measures resistance, including anything that could limit the flow of electrons? A. Coulomb, B. Watt, C. Ohms, or D. Amperes. The correct answer is letter C. Ohms. The unit of resistance is ohms. Number 19. The resistance in a circuit is changed from 50 ohms to 25 ohms. If the voltage in the circuit remains the same, what will happen to the current? A. The current will stay the same. B. The current will decrease by half. C. Not enough information to tell. Or D. The current will double. 
The correct answer is letter D. The current will double. The solution is shown. Number 20. The parallel circuit with resistors of 10 ohms, 10 ohms, and 5 ohms has a total resistance of A. 10 ohms, B. 5 ohms, C. 25 ohms, or D. 2.5 ohms. The correct answer is letter D. 2.5 ohms. The solution is shown. Download the ASVAB tutoring app for iOS or Android for more practice.